Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, and I guess I've been in a bit of a debugging mood recently because uh, today we're going to talk about another uh, set of debugging features that Game Maker has added recently. Uh, this actually appeared a few months ago, I think a few months ago, um, but I, I didn't get around to talking about it until now. So, if you've ever wanted to know exactly, for example, where in um, your code something happens for the sake of like debugging or anything like that, there's, uh, there's limited options. We have, of course, breakpoints, which you can use if you want to break out the debugger, which um, is definitely a bit of a, a bit of a heavy-duty solution. A lot of the time, people will instead go for something along the lines of uh, show debug message spam um, and print out a bunch of messages to the console. This is, of course, fine for most cases. And if you want to figure out where something happens in your code, we have um, a function, uh, debug get call stack, and this will, uh, this will give you basically an array uh, which will which will return the uh, like a the function call stack. So uh, it'll tell you what uh, what function you're running, what uh, function called that, what like object event called that, that kind of thing. And I guess I can show that off now. Uh, if I go into, for example, the um, uh, what would be a fun function to uh, to try this on? All right, what if I take this uh, this line of code, that this uh, section of code that deals with like talking to NPCs or something like that? Uh, let's call it something like, I don't know, SCR player talk. And uh, from here, uh, we can just call that and we can use that to uh, like indirectly initiate conversation with an NPC. And if I wanted to um, show debug message, uh, debug get call stack. Um, whenever I uh, whenever I talk to an NPC, or whenever I attempt to talk to an NPC, we're gonna see in the console popping out um, an array. In fact, you know I can pretty print this. And we can um, we can use JSON stringify to pretty print that. Uh, in a in a somewhat more uh, easy to read way, and this is going to uh, give us an array of the uh, the script that uh, this function was called from, uh, with the line number, uh, and then the uh, the object event where that came from, and the line number. And if you want to uh, if you want to know where in your code a um, exactly something is running, maybe something is going wrong and something is running where it shouldn't be, um, debug get call stack can be a, uh, a handy way of tracking that down. Recently, GameMaker added a few, uh, a few debug macros, uh, which you can find if you type uh, underscore underscore gm. Is it a one underscore or two? It's one underscore. Uh, gm file. We have gm function and underscore gm line, and these will show you the um, the code file, the function name, and the line number, uh, which this. Uh, function has been called from respectively. And this will not give you the fully fledged debug call stack. Um, if I were to um, show it, let's just do a show message. Get it in a, a regular message box. So we can show message gm file. Uh, I guess we can do the other two as well. Show message gm function and gm line. And this will, uh, yes please. Uh, this will tell us the name of the file that we're running from. So if I were to, to try to talk to an NPC, uh, GML global script SCR player talk, uh, that is the internal name of this file. Code files are prefixed with uh, GML global script as opposed to like GML object or that kind of thing. Uh, the function name is indeed SCR player talk, and the line, which this exact line is running on, is uh, is line 10. And I would anticipate that if you really need debugging features, uh, it would be a lot more helpful to use the debug get call stack function uh, because that gives you the full stack trace. That gives you uh, not only the line of code that's currently running and the function that's currently being called, but it also gives you how you got there in the form of the stack trace. And of course, if you really need some some hardcore debugging, you should be using the, uh, the debugger and breakpoints. But uh, GM file, GM function, and GM line can be occasionally useful. If you just uh, if you're just looking for some relatively quick and easily accessible information, coming back to the phrase that I like to use for uh, a lot of these new minor features that GameMaker's been adding, it's occasionally useful. 
Uh, that said, I do want to make bigger and longer and proper videos on how to actually use the debugger though, because that is an extremely, extremely useful tool in your toolbox uh, when, uh, when you want to figure out why your game isn't working. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I try to post about two game dev videos a week, uh, one tutorial tutorial like this and one let's make a game, currently a 3D wizard game project. Sometimes I do more of that when Yo-Yo Games adds an interesting new feature to a beta. So if you're interested in anything like this, feel free to subscribe. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. Otherwise, I hope you find this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Squarecrow, Sindra Larson, Manta Ray, Harold Gidry, Game Maker, Edward Hult, DJ Gibbles, and Army Armbuster for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.